All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to give you a fun example where the sphere of radius r isn't always the boundary of the ball of radius r. And of course this is true for r and rn with the usual metric, but therefore we have to look for a very funky kind of metric for this not to be true. But let me just remind you a couple of terminology. So first of all, you have the sphere centered at x, at x and radius r. That is the set of all points that are exactly a distance r away from x. So the set of y such that the distance between x and y is equal to r. So this is x and this is r and this is y. So really the sphere here and by the way, these are metrics, so we're talking about metric spaces here. And then the ball centered at zero in radius r, again, is just the set of points where the distance between x and y is strictly less than r. So you're looking at those kind of points. So all the inside here. So this is uh, bxr. And lastly, what is the boundary? Well, it's the difference. It's like the, the metric space boundary. So in other words, it's the difference between the closure of bxr and the interior of bxr. And again, the closure is the set of all limit points of sequences in bxr. The interior is the set of all points which have neighborhoods in bxr. All right, and with this, we're finally ready for our counterexample. So consider r, but with the discrete metric. So let consider rd. Rd, where d is the discrete metric, so dxy is a very weird kind of metric. It's 0 if x equals y, and it's 1 if x is not equal y. In other words, anything different from x is exactly 1 away from uh, x. So in some sense, what you're saying is every point that's not x it's exactly one away. Weird, huh? It's kind of hard to imagine this way, but I'm claiming that this is a counterexample because let's consider this thing, the ball centered at zero and radius one. And I wanna show that the sphere centered at zero and radius one isn't the same as the boundary of the ball of radius one. What is this thing? By definition, it's the set of y such that the distance between 0 and y is less than 1. But notice, this metric only takes two values, 0 and 1. So the only way this metric can be less than 1 is if it's 0. But that just means that y equals 0. So y such that y equals 0, so it's just the 0 set. So, In other words, the ball of centered at, the open ball of uh, centered at 0 and radius 1 is just the point 0. That's on the one hand, and let's first of all calculate the, um, what's it called? Um, Let's calculate the boundary of this first of all. So what is the boundary? It's again by definition, it's the difference between the closure and the, um, what's called, uh, the interior. First of all, what is the closure? Well, if you're a sequence in this uh, set, a 
okay? Then the only way you can be in that set is if you're zero. So if, let's say, Sn is in B01 and Sn converges to S, then, again, the only way you can be in this ball is if Sn equals zero for all S, for all N, and so that sequence has to converge to zero, and therefore, by uniqueness of limits, we get S equals zero. Which just shows that the set of all limit points in that ball is just the zero set. So, hence, B01 closure is just zero. And all, all right, so let's now find the interior of that set. Well, on the one hand, the interior is always included in the set itself. Okay. So the interior, we know that it's a subset. Zero. But then, um, zero is in that interior. Because, well, let's find a ball centered at zero that is inside that ball centered at zero and radius one, well, consider, for instance, the ball of radius zero and one half, which is also zero, and that's included in your set. And therefore, um, what's called, uh, yeah, therefore, what do we have? The interior is just zero. Okay, and now we can find the boundary. So what was the boundary? So the boundary of B01, that's again the difference between the closure and the interior, which becomes the zero set without the zero set, which is just the empty set. So the boundary is empty, but then the question is, what is the sphere? Well, but if you want the set of points y such that the distance between 0 and y equals 1, well, anything other than 0 is a distance 1 away from 0. So it's really everything, all of R, without 0. So in this case, the um, boundary of your ball is uh, not equal to the sphere of radius 1. So how cool is that? Uh, but again, the point is discrete metrics are, are very strange. Uh, all right, thank you very much.